I was telling them in, 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 in the church this morning, in Queens, I told them, I said, I'm going to tell you one deadly party you must not go. Because you all go party, so get to plan. I won't tell you right now. I'm going to tell you one party you must not go. One deadly party you don't go. Get ready to write right now. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. There's one deadly party you don't go. Come on. You know you got party, you got, you got um, birthday party, you got, uh, you know, anniversary party. Come on, you got, you got, um, come on, graduation party. Come on, Christmas party. Come on, good parties. Come on, I'm going to tell you one party. You get ready to write it out? One party you don't go. You don't go to. A third party. God of mercy. Did you hear what I said? You don't go to a third party. A third party kills. It's deadly. Oh my, you got really quiet here. Did you hear what I said? The day you come into adultery, you brought death in your house. It must come. I'm just getting ready to preach right now. God of mercy. Someone said the effect of every vision is that you don't dare go take another man and you got a man in your house. You're greedy. My God of mercy. You wicked. The day you do that, you have gone dead in your house and it must come. Bishop, come with the scriptures, guy. I don't understand that what you're telling me right now because it become normal. It's a reason in the Bible days why they kill adulterers. God don't do stuff without, without, without. Because it's severe. It's serious. When you have a wife and go take another woman, though it's normal today, it's serious. It's so serious that in the past you do that, you did. I'm gonna tell you why. Because you just kill all your family. The moment you go take somebody outside your spouse, you have just drawn a gun on your house. Oh my God of mercy. Come on, somebody. You have just stabbed your family. Stop your children. Oh my God of mercy here, yeah, man. Come on, I'm getting ready right now. I gotta give you this. I gotta give you this because folks have done these things over the years and get away with it. But I've got news for you. Amen. God said it won't be prolonged no more. This kind of dirty behavior that become normal because it's normal on television and, and in the books and in all those entities. It become normal and is a new understanding and new education a new system about this thing. But the moment you go take a man, come on somebody with your husband or take a woman with your wife, you have become a murderer. How much folks living single for 15 years? And you, you have somebody. You have somebody. No matter you're tempted, you have somebody. You ain't talking with me. You're dying on me right there. You got somebody. And you still go, to, go look somebody else. Temptation will come. But stay home. Or you will die. You will kill your son. Oh, you don't believe me. Come on, Bishop. Abraham took Hagar. Come on. And wife agree with it. Come on, somebody. And even though wife agree with it, come on. Today we see millions being killed by terrorism because of a third party. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Listen to me, church. The effect of every vision is here. Take your mind off third party. Terrorism today? Terrorism today? And a million die? Came from third party. Somebody went to a third party. Come on, somebody. Come on, and thought he's on the alcohol is there. Come on, somebody. At the third party. Thought they only dance at the third party. Come on, somebody. 
as they try to draw the other and trick the other and have all kind of smart things to, to lure the other because it's party time come on somebody not realizing that it's a dead it's a deadly party David was on his house top I said I want to have a party he didn't satisfy with his own party hey, amen you only allowed a first party that's you and a second party your spouse my God of mercy here yeah. oh, my God of mercy he couldn't satisfy with party one and party two he said I want a third party hey, and he went to a third party and have a baby and then he wanted the baby to live God said that baby can't live for a third party it's a deadly party go lay with a man that lay with a hundred women and take a hundred disease to your spouse come on come on church come on don't don't, don't fight me now come on for three minutes of enjoyment and forget your children come on somebody third party bring murder come on somebody he brings suicide. Come on, somebody. You didn't consider the children, the nice, beautiful children who are going to be left behind. Come on, somebody. I could get in trouble right here. I believe I could, I could get in serious trouble here. Amen. Did you did not know that the moment you take, come out a third party, you take away the option of the second party. Come on, somebody here. The second party, no matter how forgiving they are, there are some options they don't have. Come on, somebody here. You didn't remember that those options that the second party don't have. Oh, glory to God. Going to damage the children. It's the others. And it, come on. God is protecting the others. It's not you. When you're married and you mess with another man, it's not you get damaged. Hey, Amen. You're greedy, folks. It's not you get damaged. It's your daughter. It's your son. Come on, somebody. It's your children. It's your mama, your papa, your household. My God, my God. I, I can't. Come on. Haven't you seen the many children got no more than one parent? Got only one party because you wanted a third party? And for three hours, for three minutes, you have destroyed all the life of your children. feel good when somebody look on you and so I'm so this and I'm so that and most third party goes come on never look as good as a second party I, I know I know that for sure I talk to them I counsel them they come in my office second party always prettier come on somebody I don't care if you don't like them give me the bomb you can fight me all you want to fight me Come on, somebody. Second party always better. Come on, plus I can give you the studies. Come on, every third and fourth and fifth. <laughs> they wish they could go back to the first. I'm giving you science right now. I'm giving, I'm giving you science right now. They wish they could go back to the first. Come on, somebody. You ain't hearing me, somebody here. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Somebody said the effect of every vision is here. You have to watch yourself. You cannot go according to your body. You're going to be lynched by your loins. You're going to let your loins lynch you. Lynch your children. No mother no more. No father no more. Because they don't have the same choices anymore. Even though they are forgiven. They are forgiven. They want to do something. They want the family to go on. They want it to work. But they don't have, come on, the full option. Because they can be forgiven and get AIDS. Yes, Who want to take the mic? Take the mic from me now. Who want to take the mic? Take the mic from me now. If you want lying church, take the mic now. Come on, somebody. And when you go and mess, most time the person who ready to sleep with you, uh, you're, you're already married. Yeah. Anybody ready to sleep with you, maybe they have it. Yeah. I said, somebody take the mic. Yeah. Somebody take the mic. Anybody so loose. Look and see you have husband. Come on, somebody. See you have husband. And you say they want to go with you. Watch yourself. They are loose. Yeah. They are messed up. 
They got wrong chemicals in their system. I said, somebody better take the mic here. Oh, glory to God. You want to be false, take the mic. But if you want truth, you can't control when they give you, what they call it, uh, uh, come on somebody. You can't control it. You're going to just get it. No matter you love him, you're going to get it because he got it. He done sleep with 30 women and he got it. He got herpes, he got AIDS, he got syphilis, he got gonorrhea, he got them all. And you're going to sleep with him for three minutes of good time. One man went to a hotel, Amy with a woman one time. Oh, glory to God. And he went to the hotel. And when he finished having a good time, he fell asleep. And when he wake up, the woman was not there. And she took her lipstick and wrote on the mirror glass, I've got AIDS. You AIDS running third party people. Without third party, you don't have to go to a doctor to check anything. Somebody take the mic. Somebody take the mic. If you're only second party, you don't need doctor. When you go the way the Bible goes, God protect you. Come on, somebody. Oh, come on, those saints. Amen, who live in holy can have a good time married. Amen, all these years. And they ain't got AIDS. Come on, somebody. Come on. God got it all organized. They're flabbergasted with admiration. You're going to wreck your life. You're gonna wreck your future. Doesn't matter who you are. Every effect, every effect of every vision, it's there. But cleanse yourself. Become a virgin tonight, and ask God for a miracle. Yes, yes. Be delivered. Come on. Go check yourself. I don't play. I don't play. Go check yourself. Rabbi can clear yourself and free your spouse. You say, I messed up, but uh, I'm good. Because if you ain't good, you're not supposed to be with him no more. Not her no more. I mean, you're a murderer now. But if you're responsible, you go take some check. Come on, uh, find out. Come on, come on, somebody, clear yourself. I say, honey, I'm clear. I messed myself. I, I made a big wrong move. But I, I never do it anymore. Please don't leave me. Come on. Oh God, Please don't leave me. You never have to worry about it anymore. I never do. Change your mind. The effect going to affect you. Oh, glory to God. You didn't hear what I said? <laughs> you didn't hear what I said? I said the effect is going to affect you. The plan to rise up. Change your mind. Change your mind. The Lord is even revealing plots against this move right now. Glory to God. Change your mind. Change your mind. It will affect you. It will affect you. Because the effect of every vision is here. Here are a few key points to note from the sermon. The effect of every vision is here. The points noted in this sermon are 1. Don't go to a third party. 2. Don't ill-treat your spouse. And 3. Don't rise against God's church.